Nearly 12 hours after the accident, commuter trains were finally running again, even as the wreckage was still being cleared from alongside the tracks. Late last night, investigators carted off the school bus's severed chassis and passenger carriage. The National Transportation Safety Board is looking into several aspects of yesterday's accident. Among them, they are trying to determine whether the school bus was prevented from leaving the railway tracks because a car was stopped in front of it, as some witnesses claim. But several children on the bus say they saw no car. There was no vehicle in she front. Could she could have inched we understand. We've heard that reported both ways. There was a car and there was not a car, but we have not uh, nailed that down yet. Investigators also want to know if the traffic signals for vehicles crossing the tracks were functioning properly. The signal was supposed to turn green to allow any traffic that may be trapped uh, on the track to proceed. But a number of witnesses said the bus was stopped because the light was red. The driver of the school bus was expected to be questioned later today. Last night, friends and relatives, even strangers, attended a memorial service for the victims of the accident. Five children killed on their way to school. Ron Claiborne, ABC News, Chicago. Victims of the crash were remembered at memorial services and vigils. The Cary Grove High School community is close-knit, and the tragedy affected almost everyone. Everybody was just crying in the halls, just everywhere. Every, friends were crying. The crash occurred early Wednesday morning. The bus was running late and shouldn't have been there when the train came bearing down. The driver had stopped the bus at a traffic light, the rear 10 feet on the tracks. Some witnesses said a car in front of the bus blocked it. Others said there was no car. The engineer did everything he could in uh, uh, trying to stop the train, which for him was too late. Four of the victims died instantly. A fifth died in a hospital emergency room. NTSB investigators were at the site quickly. I've been at, at this type of work for a lot of years, and the things that we initially perceive to be the cause very often are not. That's why our investigations are fact-based. We will dig and dig and uncover all the facts that we can and then make a determination. The bus remained where it had been tossed until the NTSB had completed its inspection. It was nightfall before crews began to move the wreckage. Bud Fotopoulos, ABC News. Chicago.